If you have a bunch of photos that you want to display on the map, sometimes the best way to do this is to bulk upload a zip file of the photos to ArcGIS Online and you can essentially create a feature layer out of that zip file. It's important to note that this will only work for photos that have geotagged information. If there isn't a location in the metadata for the photo, it will most likely not appear on the map. So that's just something to think about before starting this process if you notice that a couple of the photos are not rendering in the correct location. The first thing we wanna do is click on new item and then I'm going to add a zip file of a batch of photos that I want to upload to ArcGIS Online. So we want to change this file type. Instead of shape file, you want to select photos with locations and this will enable the program to see that geotagged information and it will appear on the map. We'll click next and then we'll give it a name. And depending upon how many photos you have, how big they are, it may take a few seconds or several moments in order for the photos to generate as a feature layer. You'll know it works because it will generate a feature layer from the list of photos that were in the zip file. So the first thing we can do is just go to open in map viewer. And we'll see the photos appear on the map. In this case, even though there are quite a few photos, a lot of them are in very similar locations. So even though it only looks like four points on the map, when we scroll in, you'll see that there's multiple points for that location. If you're ever not sure, a good quick way to just click on the point and you'll notice it'll say, uh, like in this case, it's one of four. So we know that there are four photos that are pretty close together and those photos will appear in the pop-ups. If you want to add additional information at this point, you would just click on edit and then you would be able to start adding fields and other information to those pop-ups. This is probably the easiest way to batch upload photos. If you only have a couple, maybe less than 10, doing a manual upload with a spreadsheet of points is probably the best way to go. But if you have a lot more than that, doing the manual upload with a spreadsheet can be really time consuming. So this might be the better method to add photos to your map.